Hey everyone, Phil here. This is going to be a video series on an electric outboard that I put together. It's about 2.5 kilowatt currently. Uh, the motor is rated for about 6 kilowatts they say, so we'll see how far I get. But for now it's 2.5 kilowatts and I'm going to be showing you guys how I put this thing together and uh, hopefully how it runs over probably a series of uh, videos. Thanks for checking it out. Here are all the parts that we've got for this outboard project. First things first is we got the motor. This is the Flip Sky 100 kV 65161. It's got the uh, 12 millimeter threaded shaft. See how it works. I've spun it up on the bench. So far, works pretty good. Um, I got these 3D printed props. These are two different pitches, actually. Um, you can sort of see it here. One I basically took infusion and squished the blades, which gave me a bit of a flatter pitch. We'll see for lower speed craft, that might be the way to go. This is an outboard bracket I got from a Chrysler 3.5 horse motor. I basically just picked it up, uh, used just, just for the bracket. It was in good shape and I wanted a nice sturdy bracket for this whole thing. Um, and it was a lot easier to just get one from a junk motor, so that's what I did. This uh, blue plastic bushing here, this is a PETG part I printed on the 3D printer. And it allows the rod to move around. And you can set the tension based on that uh, little hole there. It will have a, a probably a butterfly nut for setting the tension. And you can adjust the angle, of course. Um, that's that. And since it's a one and one eighth rod that we've got here, it makes it really easy to clamp on uh, like existing bike market uh, parts. So these are like handlebar stems. So I'm going to use these guys to um, attach to the pipe and I'll use them for my control arms and actually probably to mount the speed control. Of course, here is the speed control. This is a VESC. Um, this is a 50 amp model. Uh, I got this from Flipsky, I believe. And um, yeah. That's probably my bottleneck of the whole operation at the moment is the 50 amp ESC. That's going to live inside this aluminum enclosure, which is going to be on top of here via the bike stem clamps, make it all removable and adjustable. And I got a couple more stems to play around with uh, for a control arm and also maybe one to actually mount the motor if I can find a way to maybe cut this or make it work somehow. Then of course the battery. This is a Pelican hard case. Um, it's the 910 and it fits two of these uh, batteries I built a couple years ago. These are 52 volt, 17 amp hour um, lithium batteries. They're 18650 spot welded cells. I got two of these. Uh, this is just one, they've got 50 amp um, uh, um, they got 50 amp uh, BMS on there and those go through this gland so this is just actually a large watertight gland and what i did was i got two xd90 connectors um they just slip right in there clamp in tighten up with the rubber and hopefully that's going to seal it's done okay so far i've done some submergent tests and it works okay um and then at the back end of the gland there's some 3d printed parts here i made so that the batteries can be removable um, when you need to use them for something else, like I might not even need two batteries here most of the time when I go out, but, uh, so I can actually pop the batteries out and then, um, use them for, for, for something else. And, th and then I can put a blank in here. So it's still sealed. That's a little 3d printed part. And, uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. Hopefully I'll be getting that all put together soon and show you guys it's spinning up. Hey everyone, day two here, uh, putting this electric outboard together. Um, got some good progress yesterday. A little motor mount has been made. Aluminum, it's not the prettiest work, but I think it should hopefully be strong enough. And then we've got our electronics box. So I've got to get dialed in here we got a series of glands we got a 
triple gland back here for the motor cables. They'll come up through the back side. And then we've got a large gland for the battery uh, cable that's going to be coming through there. This is a four, a four conductor uh, 10 gauge, I believe, if I remember correctly. I've got uh, the conductors double up, so there's kind of two positives, two negatives. Um, they'll come through here, and then they'll connect through. I think for now I'm just going to use these XT90 split in half, these two barrel connectors. They'll come in through this big gland, and then this little guy is for the control, um, for the handlebar controls, which as of now is just going to be a little waterproof potentiometer for testing. I am, of course, going to um, add a kill switch as well, like a marine style red pull kill switch. And once this is all wired, this is going to live on top of here, sort of like that, using a, another bar clamp to secure it. So I got a bit of fabrication to do still, but um, yeah, getting pretty close to be able to hopefully have it running uh, maybe today or tomorrow. All right, see you later. Well, the system is now complete. Got the battery hooked up to the motor. Speed control box. See that it came out pretty good. Landed, protected. This is temporary for now though this wiring is. I will run the wiring into the tube, uh, but just for testing, I've got it going outside the tube for now. Let's see how she fires up. A little rough start, but it's all right. Yeah. All right, here's the setup. The VESC is all wired up, ready to go. Got that controlled with the potentiometer there. And then prop is in the water. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in there. Took me a while to get the slow RPM um, operation kind of dialed in with the VESC, took a bit of uh, fiddling, but I ended up getting it in field orientated control and it's pretty slow control, it's working pretty nicely. And here is the setup, the laptop. You can see as I turn it on, we can monitor our powers here. 30 watts. There you go. I will put the protective bag on the actual shot here. All right, full throttle test. Here we go. Woo. All right. All right. Works pretty good. Oh, no, no.